This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family. Today I want to give you a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. So today we're continuing to look at the steps to go from trials, testing, to triumph. Today we're going to talk about ask. We've looked at the scriptures in James chapter 1. We said the first thing you got to do is count. It says to count it all joy. We got to count our blessings. It's not what happens to us, it's how we, re we respond to what happens to us. We need to have a mindset of counting our blessings and counting the faithfulness of God if we're going to turn our trials into triumphs. Then we talked about how we need to know. We need to know the trying of our faith worketh for patience. And we need to let our, the patience of God work through us. Let it do its perfect work, the Bible says. Let it do its complete work in us. Let it work for us. The next thing we need to do is we need to ask. The Bible says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask, for God gives it liberally, it says. God wants to bless us. And so we need to ask God for wisdom. Wisdom is simply the ability to discern difference. Difference in a moment, difference in what's good, better, and best choices for our life. Wisdom is being able to take the, the knowledge of God, if you will, through His Word and know how to apply it to a situation with accuracy and precision. Wisdom is the ability to discern difference. And so if you're not sure what to do in, in your life situation, if you're not sure how to respond to a trial or a testing, then the Bible says, ask God. And it doesn't just say, ask God for wisdom, but it says to ask God for wisdom and faith. Let's ask God for wisdom and faith, believing. It says, not wavering. It says, for a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And so we need to come to God with the conviction of the truth that if we ask him, he is faithful and just to give us wisdom. He's going to be a good God. He is the source of wisdom. It tells us in Corinthians, he is our wisdom. So let's go to the Lord for whatever's lacking, whatever you're facing that's bigger than you, that's bigger than me. Let's go to the source of all wisdom. Let's go to the Lord. Let's ask of him. Before you ask your Aunt Susie, before you pick up the phone and call your uncle, before you pick up the phone and call your sister or brother in the church even, why don't you ask God? Ask Him through His Word. Ask Him, ask the Holy Spirit, what would you like for me to do? And then trust and have confidence to know that He's going to answer you in your time of trial and testing. Hey, listen, let's give God a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. God bless.